Hello, uh, I want to show you how in the United States of America the local government is separating you. I just have a, uh, a little problem with um, a color code white, color code white. They actually asked me wh where I was from and uh, I told them I am from here. <laughs> I am an American. So he decided that I was not. So he went on his rant telling me that I was not. So, <laughs> so I'm making this video because this is how I defeat them. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I told the fellow, really? So you, you are from here, but I am not. But the problem is that we are right now in historic Lagrange. So go and read the sign in front of the entrance to your town. <laughs> so he just left <laughs> because he actually followed me out here and uh, completely was defeated and distraught. And I uh, have no idea what is it that he's going to do now <laughs> from now on. But let me show you what he said right here. Historic Lagrange. Now, Lagrange means the uh, La Granja, La Granja, Granjeros. The, that means the, uh, the farm the, or the farmers. So it is a little uh, mis, uh, mistranslated to begin with. It says, the township of La Grange, French for the barn. It's actually not the barn. It's basically uh, the farm, the farm, if you will was established in 1852 near the Tolumen River. By 1853, French, Chinese, Mexicans, Spanish, and Americans. And that is what I defeated. Because, because, Americans, they are trying to say the Americans are not all these people here. Americans are something different. Americans are color code Englishmen. And that is the key. The key is even the, on a historic site, they present you a separation. They are French. They are Chinese. They are Mexicans. They are Spanish. Oh, the problem is it's the same people. All the same people. The, the French created the United States of America. The Mexicans are not really Mexicans. They are the Spanish and the French and the native. Very important. The Aztecas, the Mayas, the Incas, the originals. So now these guys are invited here from Ireland, Scotland, uh, Russia, uh, all these other places. So now they are divided. They are now Americans. And the reason is the language. They want to establish a, a, a singularity. So when this fellow was here looking with me to this sign, very, very same signs, he said, but I am an American. And I say, no, you're not an American. You are a freaking conditioned color code by the damn English. And you see it right there. They are dividing you from me. And I'm here to help you. You are just an American, as is the people from the United States of Mexico, the people from Haiti, the French, the Spanish, and everybody else on this continent, the Canadians. The Canadians are actually French. So I start explaining to him that this exactly is what is happening around the United States of America. But if you really continue to, to, to read, it's all, it's all a, a, a mirage. It's all a, um, a conditioning of, uh, of, of realities. The reality is this, this place, town of San Luis Mission, 1854. These people were out here 400 years before that date, 1853. Remember, they came here in the in the 1520s the 1520s and we still here and and what is sad is that this fellow that was telling me that I was not an american is actually a polish man a polish and second generation by the way polish so is that that is the the critical conditioning of the population um, of the united states of america 
Then you have people from, from all over Europe uh, escaping World War II 75 years ago, and now they're, they're adult children because these guys my age, they are completely, completely watch out. They actually believe that they are Americans and they are English and nobody else exists. I explained to him about uh, Bernardo Conde de Galvez, Esteban Rodriguez Miro, Marquez de Lafayette, Carlos III, Luis um, uh, 16, and he had no idea what I was talking about. So the way, the way I defeated his uh, conditioning, I showed him uh, a photo of the Capitol building in Washington, uh, D.C., uh, where they have on the dome of the Capitol building, they have the uh, the photos of uh, um, uh, Washington, uh, uh, General uh, George Washington, the first president of the United States of America, and they have him painted on the uh, on the dome. And right beside is all the the founding fathers of the United States of America, and one of them is Bernardo Conde de Galvez. One of them is Marquez de Lafayette. They, they, they are actually uh, uh, all over the place. Uh, in the Dome Capital, you have uh, uh, Sierra, and you have all these people, you know, the, the, the founding fathers of the United States of America. So, so it was easily defeated, uh, and now he's, you know, I don't know, baby. So, uh, I'm sorry. No, it is not sorry. You don't have to be sorry to me. You have to be sorry to you stupid self to accept that you are a coward. <laughs> as simple as that. So when those people up there in uh, 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 in uh, uh, on television or NPR and BBC London, that they paint themselves, they bleach themselves blonde so they can look really blonde, and they put makeup so they can look really pale, and all this crap. Guess what? They are conditioning you, and they are not white. They just white want to be creating something that they that they never have, they never have. And this is, you know, this is right here. This town was called La Granja, and it was it was founded by the founding fathers of the United States of America. They are uh, the French and the Spanish and the Chinese and the people from the United States of Mexico and the people from the United States of Mexico they are the Aztecas and the Mayas and they are the originals from here the Navajo, the Apache and when they tell you that they are different that they are different people all you have to do is tell them hey I do not have to defend my position. All you have to do is look at their faces. <laughs> they have the same biology. Uh, so, you know, it is it is what it is. We are win we are winning this fight, this uh, 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 conditioning fight, and uh, uh, fight back, fight back. Do not allow. For example, if you're from Pakistan or India, living in New York City. And somebody around you mentioned the uh, American uh, Indian, uh, you tell them, hey, go the, get, get the hell out of here. And when, when uh, anyone call you an Indian, you just tell them, hey, get the hell out of here. You know, I'm not an Indian. I'm from here. And the Indians, hey, do not, do not steal their, their identity. They are Indians. So don't call me an Indian where somebody else actually is. And they will defend that they are Indians, and they should. It is their culture, it is who they are, their identity. So there you have it. Uh, I am right here in um, um, beautiful, historic, historic, it's very historic, La Grange. The problem is that the history that they want to present you is erroneous. These people were here way before that any, anyone came through here. This is the land of the native of the American continent. They're everywhere. They're everywhere today. Saludos.